let's look at an individual student report together. So log in to your Symphony Math teacher login. When your dashboard comes up with your home page, go down to whichever student you're interested in looking at. I'm going to click on this student's name. This takes us into a daily progress report for an individual student. So the daily progress reports are read kind of like you read email. So you go to the bottom and look up to see what the progress is like. This particular student is working on five, did fine. Six, it says early exit, and what early exit means is that Symphony realized that this child was struggling and decided to branch them into the skill stage, which is a deeper stage. So he was on add and subtract to 20, but he started having difficulty on these tasks. So if I click on one of these tasks to see what the difficulty was, it will bring up a working version of the problem so I can see what was happening here. So now I can see the problem that the student was working on. Several teachers I've spoken with have asked a student to come over when they pop up the question and answer the question with them. That allows the teacher to see what the student's thought process is. So it's very helpful. So early exit means the student needs more reinforcement and Symphony has recognized that. Right here what you see is 6.1. So that means the student was having difficulty in that particular skill. Symphony went down to advanced edition. The student struggled again. So now we go one level deeper, which is the focus stage. And the student is gonna spend more time working on that particular skill because they need the help. Here's where you see the time stamp and the date. So if you're wondering if your student has been using Symphony Math as homework at home, this is where you'll see that. This is 9.01 p.m., so obviously this wasn't home for 30 minutes. And then up at the top, you can see that this student is in second grade because his year-end benchmark is right here at the end of second grade. Um, he's still working in kindergarten skills. That will only show up on this report the student never sees you are working in kindergarten skills, but you do want all three of these boxes to be filled in before the end of the school year to make sure that this student has got all of those skills under his belt before the end of second grade. So that's how you look at an individual student progress report.